Yeah. When we first came out here, y'all, we went to Lehigh University, a top 25 school, right? But when we came out here, though, we humbled ourselves. And at one point, I was working at Able Body Labor making $5.35 an hour yeah. to make living in Chauncey Village, yeah. trying to eat, just making it done. You know what? We don't care. We still dabbing. We having fun. We doing our thing because we understand the end goal. Even though we're not stressed about the end goal, we understand what it is. Like Jay was talking about earlier. If I need to get 3500 what do I do to get there? If I need to build a business and I understand myself as a culture and I'm not going to go get a loan and get $50,000 from somebody. My dad, not, my dad don't got that bread. Yeah. I got to start from the bottom. So we did that. So you know, I started $5. And then I started selling cars out here, and then we started building. What you understood is that it's not microwave, it's not instant, it's not, uh -huh. it's not oatmeal, that's, that's, it's oven, man. Yeah. Could be yeah. That's, 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 where, that's where we mess up a lot, not limiting our desires, because you got to limit your desires if you have an end goal in mind. And like you were saying earlier, discipline. Like, you, it's discipline. It's, it's discipline. It's obedience. If you got to, I say. I was telling a uh, little man earlier, like, whatever you do, just have a strategy. Not a plan, but a strategy. Because you got to maneuver through. A plan is something that, you know, you, you want, but it might not happen that way, right? But a strategy, you prepare for the pitfalls and, and whatever it is that comes with life. You know what I mean? So you got a strategy to win. And when you when you have that strategy, you just apply, you limit your desires, and you know where you're, you know where you're trying to go. So anything, any distractions, if you got the discipline, you ignore it and keep it moving. One of, one of my... Uh consultants on a uh, on the call on one of my staff and he said something on his periscope and he was like um never confuse activity with accomplishment yeah yeah, yeah. 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 see look yeah, yeah. 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 gotta be busy for the yeah. sake of being busy you wanna be busy just look busy yeah. 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 you got you got three you got three you phones that, you, got yeah. you, got, you got three phones they close no deals you just, yeah, exactly. just looking busy let's get, no, let's get Stacey in on the conversation yo. cause she does insurance her dad been. The, her dad was the first African American uh, uh, really, uh, State, State, uh, Farm uh, State Farm agent in New Jersey, where I'm from, where she's from, where Jay is from. You know what I mean? So, Stacy, what's going on? How you feel about that? And like, how you feel about insurance? Because insurance is very important in everything we do. I pay a lot of money to insurance, and I don't <laughs> like it. But Stacy, nonetheless, we need you, right? Because things happen. Right. Insurance so. is mandatory in most states, so. I mean, it's a thriving business. It's intertwined in everything all of you do. Um, and it's a very unrecognized industry. Um, there's business acquisition and insurance, buying and selling agencies. And each of you drove here. Each of you need insurance. So it's very lucrative residual income. So I don't have to constantly think over and over how I'm going to make money. I'm making money while I'm sitting here. I'm going to make money tomorrow and the next day and the next day because the renewals are going to keep coming in. So, you know, you start little. It's um, like the Bible says, if you are a good steward of little or few, then God will bless you with many. So it's starting out very small, not the big real estate hit, but over time that residual income compounds and compounds and compounds. And then, you know, it, it's gonna sustain you. It's a legacy you can leave to your family as my father left it to me. Um, and I, I strayed from it when I was younger, thought I was gonna strike out and get rich and show him that I was gonna brand myself. But it's already instilled in me. I was at that table, just like you guys are having this meeting. I used to be sitting at the table with my father at two years old, measuring houses, going on appointments. So I remember all of that information. It is just embedded into me. Word. Okay, okay. She bought the, the scriptures out of there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he just 19 said. <laughs> <laughs> they said 20 minutes to go inside. It's been like 40. Man, I'm freezing. Man. Look at me. I'm too small. Right. Man, I lost this is a long, a long time since college football. <laughs> So this building, this building, so that's Periscope. This building in Dallas or what? What is building? What is building? What is building? Dallas, South Dallas. Where's South Dallas? Uh, you know where Fair Park? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
are we doing a custom type fitting for these three people who already own it, or well, are we just building for what we want? This me and him. Who own it? Who bought the house? Oh, this. Y'all bought them? This. Are we building for y'all? Like, we building that what y'all want? Or? Yeah. <laughs> we created our own company. So, 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 the okay, other, so pretty much we'll, so we'll get renderings, put them outside, and be yep. selling those houses. Soon we start, yep. all they selling. These are condos? Uh, town, 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 yeah. so, town. Kind of like a brown, a brownstone up up north. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. See, up north, there's a lot more townhouses in Maryland. Down here, there's not too many townhouses. At least you go uptown around here. I can here. get you 75 percent refi on any of those. You pull cash out whenever you want. 30 yeah, days. We're, we're definitely gonna need. What they say? Yeah, we're gonna need. We're gonna need that. Yeah, stated income. What happened? You saying all the key words, Jay, over there. Yeah. 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 Let me put my man on the last one. The key word today, did we get that contract signed for my property? Uh, no, we didn't get the pay. All right, so <laughs> no. I had to sit down and say, can I put it out there? No, we, what? We no. talk about uh, no the 120 investment property. Yeah. Come on. This is good news. Cause he, he, bought the, he just sent me a client. I got an investment property I bought three years ago. And uh, my broker, Scotty Smith the second. Found me a client to purchase my property at 130, right? That's what he's doing. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I got, got good news. <laughs> Those are so we, 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 we agreed on our, we agreed on our price today, right? We 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 five thousand dollars. We five thousand dollars. Hold on, we got his hand up. 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 We you put on the market at what, 135, right? I probably put it a little bit lower, but it, well, I have multiple offers on it. And yeah, so I'm saying, say yourself at 135. Yeah. You got to pay a 6% commission on that. I was like, hey, uh, I'm real. Oh, you're a realtor? Yeah. So you still got to pay some commission to, to, to buy a realtor. Three. Huh? Hey, I'm up, he gonna get the 3%. Oh, bro, say, oh, he don't get the so my But you, but, but, but you still gotta, listening. you still gotta give something to your broker, correct? That's my broker. He's your broker. <laughs> so he gonna be the, so he gonna be the, he gonna be the. He's hey, gonna keep it all in the family. Right? Hold on, hold on. Off of the buyer, and I'm a listing agent, and, and a listing agent, but for three percent flat for the whole transaction. So, no, no transaction. He get twenty. He get twenty percent of me too. But I wouldn't get uh, the twenty percent. Are you gonna throw the twenty? So keep your twenty percent, bro. We do the whole. We do the whole thing first. He get it on camera. Get it on camera. Just start building. You keep you keep you keep one percent. And just give me two. At one twenty-five. I think about it. I'll give what you is it running? <laughs> is, is, is it running right now? Hey, no. It's hey, I'm, li I'm living. It was my first. Uh, oh, okay, gotcha. It was my first purchase, and uh, I went in there and remodeled it and everything like that. And sat on it. And now we ready to cash out. Right, gotcha. So, uh, I think honestly, we can get this thing done. Twenty-eight five right now. He does have a point. It's a high demand there. High demand. People looking to get it done. He's right. But it is a high demand. I just think that's my boy. He know how, how crazy it is out here on the market. The bid boys. We got an in house buyer. The bid boys favors me. <laughs> that favors me. I'm just like, no, just take care of your boy, man. Listen, I sent, I sent her over there by herself just so she can kind of sweet talk the house. Then when she told me to, she said, oh, you, 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 uh, you explain a lot more than Scotty. Scotty just let me run to I said, this, 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 this my house. So, uh, I kind of know what's going on. Let me roll free. Yeah. Yeah. So one, two, we still hold the building. So one, two, three, four, five. You brought it back down. See for that? I was just trying to see if you want to see for that. I'll just back on 5,100. Okay, look. 127, 5 with the 2% commission. Hands out. That's a hands out deal. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it.
<laughs> What's the number? What's his hat? Five on Periscope. <laughs> One twenty-seven five. One twenty-seven five. Two percent commission. Two percent commission. And I get my twenty percent. <laughs> I get to keep my hundred percent. And he give twenty percent of the commission. I give my five hundred percent. Jay Morris is special. I close <laughs> deals, baby. <laughs> if they in my own, I still close deals. I'm the closer. Dallas, Texas, tell them, Jay. Dallas, Texas, baby. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the south. <laughs> <laughs> these, these, these kings had a little, you know what I'm saying, a little issue couldn't meet halfway. We had to work it out. They, they shook you know, hands. Now, hey, uh, <laughs> We're not on the go. Oh, yeah, we need some drinks, right? I'm going to send him my drink. bill tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we going to be all good. You just don't know what that comes from. Hey, uh, that, that 1% was uh, something you got to get back. <laughs> back at the mediation <laughs> thing. Because yeah, I was always told your first real estate investment should be your first home purchase. You know what I mean? Like, you know, with, with the, you know, you can get the FHA loan, three and a half. Yeah, it doesn't have to be, bro. I think it's the easiest. It's the easiest. Yeah, that's what okay, that's yeah, one to four units. That's what I say. Everybody, should, everyone, to start off with a two to four unit home if you can, yeah. and make that your like yeah. Yeah. Two, 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 two units away. Two unit. Yeah. 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 What we call You can have yeah. one side, yeah. paying yeah. for both sides. That's for what I mean. But two unit. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we, we say two unit, but your duplex, okay. triplex, yeah. okay. quadplex, whatever. But you should always do that because one, for, for multiple reasons. So, <laughs> y'all hold me now. <laughs> so. One of the main reasons is obviously it's an easier way entry point to purchase because of lower down payment, better interest rates, more flexible on credit, all those kind of things, being owner occupant. But you get to multifamily because one, you can live for free or live for cheap, you to pay your mortgage or other units for rent. But also the banks will use those other three units or two units or one unit, they will use that income as future qualifying income towards your current income to help you qualify. So now if you're working at a Burger King making 30,000 a year, they'll give you credit for the other three units that you buy in that you're not living in, the bank gives you 90% credit of that future rental income, even though you don't even live there yet. So now instead of making 30 a year, you're making 60 a year on paper because of the future rental income. Mm. So that'll help somebody that's making a modest salary be able to income. Then thirdly, the best reason to do that, because now if you have a multifamily and you purchase FHA or conventional owner-occupied, but you see a single family you like, it's easier to move from a multifamily into a single. It makes more sense to an underwriter that you're leaving a three unit going to a single <laughs> than trying to go from a single yeah. going to a three. They'll be like, hell no, you're trying to get an investment property. Yeah. Yeah. So it's easier to get a multifamily and say, look, I'm living here on Occupy, but now I want to move from this multi to a single. It's my second property. Rent all three of those units out. Now you got the second property, FHA 203K. Get that rehab loan on that. Get the rental income from that. Cash out refi on that. Pull that cash out tax free. Put it down in your single family. Yeah. Now you got that I'll property. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can definitely have that. Now you can flip that, sell that out. You still own three families. You still got another owner occupied purchase. FHA 3.5% down in your next property. And you got all the equity in the house is power. Yeah. You don't know that. You, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, <laughs> it's, it's all in the books. It's all in the, you know, whatever. So my YouTube channel, Build the Black Wealth. Yeah. Build the Black yeah. Wealth. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Build the Black Wealth video on my YouTube channel. I break it all down. Yeah. Yeah. Probably put it on World Star in a week, actually. Yeah. My little bro was like, yo, man, I used to uh, see K on uh, my little bro straight. I'm my bro. But you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give everybody the king king and queen challenge. We don't say homie, we don't say playboy, we don't say dude, we hurt each other, we say king or queen. Yeah, it's just a habit. He was like, yo, uh, Jay was on uh, on Warstar, man. Getting anything in? I was like, yeah, man. Jay out there getting it, man. I was like, now nah, Jay already to the right now. Let me say yesterday, Jay to the right, baby. Straight activist learning, yeah. getting everybody up, ready to rock and roll. Community like, right? I, I was watching. Community uh, uh, You know, Ty Lopez. You ever heard that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was watching one of his videos, and uh, it was something I was telling my uh, my old lady. Like, I just got a like fiend for knowledge. Like I don't care what it is, like whether it's documentaries, like you know, books, whatever, but you know, in order for you to grow, you gotta have a desire for just learning. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of people get caught up, which I was talking about earlier, just thinking they have to know everything or thinking they already know everything. Right. And not you know what I'm saying? Not admitting that hey I need to learn more, I need to just go out here and yearn for this knowledge in whatever form or fashion you can get it. And um when you do that, you just notice growth. You notice, you know what I'm saying? You evolve. You evolve. How we doing in here, John? Uh, Hungry, doing waiting to go inside. <laughs> Look, they say, no, I ain't no inside. So we, no, got no, a, we got a question, uh, we got a no, question we on here. Are here. a list? Oh. And it might take a while. Like oh, we, are, we, are we here waiting for over there? Yeah, we waiting for over there. Oh, yeah, oh, makes sense. So you can give me another. Check. We just closed the deal. Uh, another round of the. <laughs> whiskey warm, yeah, that's whiskey warm, yeah. Hey, hey, we, we got we got a question on Snap. Can I have a uh, can I have limits and limes, please, for my water? 
Thank you, I appreciate it. Young lady said, what's your three favorite books? My three favorite books? Uh, 